yet another time we are in another session of grade 10 science and we have been talking about chemical basis of life this is as per the sri lankan government school syllabus and we are going to talk about nucleic acids today in this video number 12 of chapter number 1 what we will learn today that is right we will learn about nucleic acids and then after that what is dna and also we will understand what is rna and what's the difference between dna and rna in short let's get into the subject and learn about these nucleic acids and other things nucleic acid what this nucleic acid is made of we will understand before that we have to understand what are the main four biomolecules what are the four main biomolecules there are four major classes of biomolecules those are carbohydrates protein nucleic acids and lipids so we already talk about carbohydrates proteins and also the lipids didn't we so this is the time for us to understand the nucleic acid now nucleic acid is the most important molecule out of the main biomolecules in living matter in genetical aspects now this is the one important factor that you have to understand when we are talking about genetical aspects this nucleic acid is coming on top of all the other biomolecules carbohydrates proteins and lipid so the nucleic acid is concerned with the genetical aspects you see that one the little fish is looks like the big fish that this is a genetical aspects now it is a linear polymer made up of a large number of nucleotides it contains carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and phosphorus these nucleic acids will also got carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and phosphorus remember this one yes you should remember this now for your extra knowledge each nucleotide is made up of three components what are those nitrogenous base phosphate base and pentose sugar group we're going to understand where it is so nucleotides looks like this nitrogenous base looks exactly like that phosphate group comes like that and pentose sugar group is exactly looks like this that is for your extra knowledge there are two types of nucleic acids how many types two types and the first one is about dna it calls deoxy ribo nucleic acid and the second one is about rna ribo nucleic acid dna deoxy ribo nucleic acid and the rna is ribo nucleic acid you should remember this also what is dna what is rna stands for now let's understand this dna the structural unit of dna is deoxy ribo nucleotide dna transfers genetic characteristic from generation to generation the structural unit of dna is deoxy ribo nucleotide it can be an mcq question that they might ask you what is the structural unit of dna and you should answer deoxy ribo nucleotide and what the dna's function the main function is dna transfers genetic characteristic from generation to generation that is right you have to remember now if you looking that picture very clearly the celebrities father zens look alike you see this one that is because of that genetical functions because of that dna that's the reason your father and you in most of your qualities look same even the face looks same see this one copy and paste version of 
their parents you can see this picture most of the kids looks like their fathers now what is rna except dna the other nucleic acid present in organism is rna the structural unit of rna is ribonucleotide ribonucleotide now protein synthesis is the function of rna it's not about the genetical functions protein synthesis is the function of rna now we know what are the things now significance of nucleic acid one by one we'll see storage of genetical information of organism happens with the help of dna and then after that it is also transferring genetical information from generation to generation sometimes your grandfather and you will look like or else your grand grand grandfather's father that is great grandfather and you will have some same qualities that's because transferring genetic information from generation to generation happens from dna now controlling all cellular activities in a cell that happens from dna the information to control cellular activities is present in dna like you are respiring like the heart is working these are all happens from the dna functions now look at this very carefully the variations occur in dna due to mutations are important evolution the people are telling that from the monkey the human become evolution from monkey to monkey became the human that is what the science is telling and they are telling that that's because some kind of a mutations due to some mutations it happened monkey did not stay as monkey monkey became the human so that is you have to understand how it is and it in what a lot of way it is right and wrong now the rna functions protein synthesis process is happening and another important function rna is doing that is about storing genetic informations of some viruses some viruses genetic information this rna keeps record as well so we came to know the significance of nucleic acid also so now you know that what is nucleic acids and what's the difference between dna and rna in terms of its functions it in terms of its properties also we are going to see another section in another session until then bye bye take care of yourself